Hey, it's Allison with Nurturing Readers. I want to share with you some of my favorite books to help teach your children how to read, as well as some new chapter books that Usborne Books and More has to offer. So starting with one of my favorite sets, this is my first reading library. It has 50 books in this set, and it is so great because it is progressive to help teach your child how to read, and you get to be a part of that process. So I just feel like this is like your one-stop shopping for teaching your child how to read. There's online resources, and it is just so awesome. Awesome. I can't speak of it more highly. I've loved using it with my daughter who is currently in kindergarten. Um, let me show you what the first book lo looks like so you get an idea. This is Pirate Pat. You can see the books are engaging. You're going to start, this is the first book in the set, so you're going to read the one side and then your child will read the other side. And you can see they're not expected to read too much as they start um, and they're going to gain their confidence as they go. And boy is that true as I've seen in my own experience. And then in the back, there are puzzles that they can reinforce skills that they're learning those sounds and different things. But what I'm really excited about is um, we just came out with like that next level. Once they finish the 50 book set, you can then get these beginner reader set. There's 12 books in here. And then there's also the developing reader and the confident reader. So this is kind of those progressive steps as they are learning to read. There are so many great books in here that are classics, um, like, you know, the princess books, like Cinderella, um, The Gingerbread Man, there's um, Emperor and the Nightingale, some great stories in here. I'll show you what they look like on the inside because the illustrations are just beautiful, um, but you can see they have to read more in these books, uh, but not too much. It's not too overwhelming. And what I love is at the back, there's still those puzzles to help them reinforce skills and, and learn comprehension too. Um, there's also a QR code so you can listen to the story as well um, online. So that's a cool feature. All right, next we have Skunks in Trunks. This is a phonics book. We have tons of phonics books. This is our newest. It's focusing on the U sound, um, like in Skunks and Trunks. And this is these are funny books and you can see they're full of color too so they're engaging but this is about the skunks who create some havoc in um, the water park and then all of a sudden uh, the poodle loses her babies in the water because the bridge breaks and the skunks have to come to the rescue so really fun book your kids will like that one okay i'm super excited because one of our best series uh just came out with some new books so this is billy b brown and hey jack and these are our best uh, chapter books. If your kid is just being introduced to chapter books, these are a great option for them. Um, there's also a new one that is like a combination of Billy B. Brown and Hey Jack, which is cool. This is great for ages four to seven, but I'll show you kind of the inside. This is the Bully Buster. Um, why it's really good for those beginning chapter books. You can see there's large words. These aren't very long, so they won't get overwhelmed. So great option if your kid is just learning how to use a chapter book. Uh, the other thing I would say is the author of those books had a dyslexic child, so they're definitely geared for kids who struggle with reading too, so keep that in mind. They're set up that way, plus their engaging plot to, to keep those readers into the story. All right, next we have Bear Grylls. Um, there's a whole series, this is just three in the series, there's many more books than just this, um, but they're full of adventure. If you've seen Bear Grylls on the TV, you know he's all about survival skills. So he's teaching survival skills to different characters in each of these books. This is the mountain challenge. Then we've got the river challenge. If you have an outdoorsy kid, they're gonna love this series. Then we have the safari challenge. So this is really good for ages seven to 10. Um, but just to show you the inside, this one is specifically about Evie. She's kind of a picky eater. And then she gets stuck in the desert in the, um, the savannah and there's not a lot of food and water so she's gonna have to figure that out and will Bear Grylls be able to help her survive is the question so definitely a great book that you'll want to check out and great series all right we just came out with a new series not that long ago called Lightning Girl well guess what we have books three and four that just came out so we've got the superpower showdown and then the secret super the secret super villain. So this series is all about a girl named Aurora and she finds out in the first book that her mom is a superhero um, but then she finds out she has superpowers as well 
And so she, these are just full of adventure. In this one, she's defeating a villain, you know, just like any superhero would do, right? But you can see um, this book has graphics in it, um, but it's definitely thicker. So it's for our older readers. This would be good for kids age eight and up. All right, next we have The Impossible Quest. This is great if you have a fantasy lover. So this is good for ages nine to 13. And this is called The uh, Escape from Wolfhaven Castle. It's about four unlikely heroes and they have four gifts they need to find to help save their people. Um, but they're kind of in a difficult spot because they're stuck in a castle right now and they need to figure out how to escape. So this is full of adventure lots of fantasy. Your kids will like that one. Okay, last but not least, I was super excited about this new release. This is the Usborne Complete Dickens um, book, and it's so awesome because it's got all the classics in here, but it is so beautiful. Um, let me just show you what I mean, like when I open this book. But it does have all the classics like Oliver Twist, Great Expectations, David Copperfield, Tale of Two Cities, um, A Christmas Carol. You can see there's just some beautiful illustrations throughout in here. Um, so, so many great things. So I would definitely highly recommend this. It's for ages nine and up.